Hello, this is Ripon Hussain Chapal back with another video and in today's video we will discuss about Contact Form 7 uh, Alliance plugin that is called Contact Form 7 Google Sheet Connector. So as you can see if someone comes to your website and in the contact form he wants to con uh, uh, contact with you and you want that you into you want that that data should be stored in uh, Google sheet as a form so that you can use for the promotions in future so I have already installed my contact form 7 now I will install another plugin to connect the Google sheet so let's go I will click on add new add plugin and in here I will type a Google sheet connector Google sheet connector so this is the plugin that I am searching for. It is this is CF7 Google Sheet Connector. So I'll click on Install Now button, and I'll click on the Activate button again. After that, a simple prompt will come that okay, never miss an important update. So I'll just skip it, and this is the form that will come. Now here we are having two options to connect it. We we can connect it through the manual client as you can see but we need to upgrade into pro but I will not do that because it's obviously a free version so I'll click on here and uh, you can see the Google access code here I'll click on sign in with Google so I'll click on here with sign in with Google and then we need to select the mail that you want to connect so I'll select as this one and then I'll click on the continue button again and then we need to select this information here I'll click on select all then click on continue button as you can see uh, uh, it is uh, the code that is given here now I, I need to click here to save the authentication code so I'll click on here again and as you can see this is currently activated now I need to go to the contact forms here and uh, a default contact form will be created when you install the contact form 7 plugin so this is a default form so I'll click on edit and from here you can see a new tab here with Google Sheets and for connecting with the Google Sheets we, with our uh, Google Sheet uh, then you, you, we need Google Sheet name then the Google Sheet ID then Google Sheet tab name and Google tab ID so for making these informations we need to go to our mail and from here from here we need to go on here with with sheets I mean Google Sheets and you can see here uh, the Google Sheets so I'll create a new one you start a new spreadsheet so I'll create a new one and you can see the uh, untitled spreadsheet here so I'll give a name that contact form contact form and uh, I will create another a new tab here for the sheets so and I will re rename it as uh, my form my form okay and this one the first one I will skip it and I will go on here and in here as you can see a b c you, you can make it a little bit more bigger here so it looks fine and in here the a field then b field then c field this should be filled with the short code of any form so like here so i'll fill this field first uh, like google sheet name so the google sheet name is this one contact form then Google Sheet ID the ID is this one here as you can see after the D slash D then from this to the Z slash before the slash it has in so this is the ID so I'll copy it and I'll paste it here and Google Sheet tab name so the tab name is this one I'll double take, click on it and copy the name and paste it here and uh, Google tab ID and the tab ID is this one the last of the URL so I'll copy it and I will paste the ID here and I'll click on save okay so the for uh, the Google sheet has been connected but we need 
to make sure that it is working perfectly. So, uh, for doing that here, uh, for capturing the first name, as you can see here, for your name, we need to capture. So, I'll go here, copy it and paste it here. Your name, then your email. The email is the main things here and uh, your subject. Otherwise, I don't need to uh, capture anything here. So, this is the main thing that we are going to need. So, now I will copy this short code and paste it in our one of our pages. So, I have already created a page. Now, I will click on edit and I will uh, bring a short code here. and paste the short code and save. Now, if I view the page, then I will see your name, your email, subject, uh, then your messages optionals and the submit button. So, I will give my name Ripon Hussain, your mail a uh, irregular mail and subject want to contact with you and some text that you want to set. So, if I click on submit now, Now, as you can see, your message has been sent. Now, if I go here in contact form, then you see that your name, then your email, then your subject is here. So, this way you can uh, make sure that your contact form is connected with your Google Sheets and from here you can manage the client's email easily. So, hope you have uh, understand. If you have any question, please feel free to uh, contact me. I will obviously reply your mail or by reply your comment down so thank you very much see you in our next episode till then bye